Presley on MasterChef. The home cooks face their first team challenge. You've got two hours to serve 350 guests. Been cooking meat for twice as long as he's been alive. Disaster. The losing team faced an intense pressure test, ending another amateur home cook Put screen. Put that in your plate. Turn it up. MasterChef. Tonight. Came on. 15 home cooks remain. Show us. You mean business. And Sophie. the competition is intensified. Get your blankies, dude. And everything you get ready to just Some will crack under pressure. Master Master complete disaster. And the judges take it personally. This gives what I do a bad name. I would send you home now. I feel like giving up. At the end of the night, a shocking elimination. It was inedible. Over the next eight weeks, We're the in remaining in home cooks will face extraordinary Master challenges. My mom's flown halfway around the world to come here and eat that dessert. Ah! For the winner, a quarter of a million dollars. You're unstoppable. Ah! That's a party in my mouth. And the title of Master Chef. Let's go, guys. Stand in front of your station, please. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Now, in your previous challenge, another talented contender for the title of Master Chef was sent home. Look. There's just 15 of you remaining. 15! I was awesome to be in the top 15, but I'm in the middle. I don't want to be in the middle anymore. I want to be on top. I need to step it up. Wait, what was that? challenge is about just inspiration and creativity. Your second mystery box challenge. You'll each have to prepare, cook, and present one absolutely fantastic dish. The trick? You're only using the ingredients. Sorry, I got scared. I didn't, I did, that was so irresponsible. I didn't look at what was going on. There's a bunch of pots. And I was like, this is where I put the, the Tylenol. I took a new one. I, I, I opened it and it just fucking boom, but it was Tylenol. It's but I didn't see. under those boxes. We will taste only the top three dishes. The person with the best dish from dumb, that three dumb, 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 dumb. will have a huge, and I mean huge advantage in the next challenge. If you win this challenge, you're going to have a huge advantage. I don't know what the huge advantage is this gonna be, guy. but whatever it is, I want it. Any of you ready to go home yet? No. You've got one hour. Show us that you mean business. On the count of three, you'll lift those boxes and find out. Okay, well, what are what they doing? What are they I love mystery boxes. I'm a savory cook, so I'm hoping for a nice savory protein. Wait, don't eat the honey. I am so hoping that under this box, there are the ingredients I need to make some sort of pastry. Slowly. One. Two. Pork. Three. Pork loin, so loin. <laughs> wow, rack of New Zealand lamb. Stunning. Peaches, Romanesca cauliflower, fresh fava beans, feta, white rice, Thai chili peppers, tarragon, creme fraiche, pie crust, heavy cream, uh, and uh, eggs. One of what? The ingredients that you have in front of you, they are so diverse. You can really go either way, right? Sweet, savory. There's so many opportunities. Make this Lamba. the best dish you've ever cooked in this competition because the next stage is an elimination test. 60 minutes and your time starts from now. Now, off you go. I have something that I use at home, and I'm just gonna uh. brown it off and then glaze it, cut them into little lollipops, and then maybe just a little uh, cauliflower, some fava beans. I think I'll be in the top three. Wait. I have no idea what this is. And it's scary, and it reminds me of a Christmas tree. Just boil it. The mystery box challenge is mm -hmm. where we separate the men from the boys. Right. You gotta really have the combination of intelligence and speed. You gotta conceptualize and execute. Oh, what is it doing? Not second guess yourself, take it all the way to the bottom line. What would you do? I do a roasted lamb and I do a little fava mint salad, some crumbled feta with it, and maybe uh, a little nice. romesco puree. Mm -hmm. I need to capitalize big time on this challenge. I need to be at least top three, show them exactly who I am, and just be right in their face. Talk to me about the dish, what are you doing? I'm gonna poach some peaches, maybe do a little creme fraiche with mint and some of the chilies. And um, I did a little test run on my lamb chop with pomegranate molasses yes. coated in over that. Very, very smart. Sweet. Yes. smart. Great for a glaze, but it is incredibly weighted and it's incredibly thick. Right. And Pipe very head. syrupy. Okay, get it together, yes? Yes, sure. Good luck. Thank you. 45 minutes to go. 
I know what I would do. I'm, I'm bad at this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some lamb lollipop, and I'm going to fry up some of the feta cheese and kind of do a sweet compote on top of the feta cheese. Derek, talk to me. What do you got? So uh -oh. I, feel, I feel like lamb has a very distinctive, more aggressive uh, a taste than mo most or other meats that we're used to. And I think you don't have to be go too hardcore. If you, as long as you enhance it with like some something light and he took the and wow, cool. black lamb and made hamburger out of it. Jesus. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. That's like taking a Bentley and crashing it into a wall. I just want to stand out a little bit. Don't risk everything to distinguish yourself. You know, a rack of lamb is a rack of lamb. Chef's turn. Give it the respect it deserves. How much pepper? Wow. A lot of butchering. I thought they would have left those rack of lambs whole. Everyone's taking it apart. Yeah. That's kind of like freaking me out. To cut each one into individual slices. Very risky. Lamb's that thin. Yeah, but that's it's the, overcooked the minute you've touched the pan. That's the advantage of a rack. 35 minutes to go, guys. Uh, yeah. I'm a little lost right now. Hello, Alejandra. What are hey, you look, doing? It's ruined. I'm doing a curry rack of lamb, and it's right now in the oven, finishing up with a roast, and I'm oh. going to make a peach chutney using some mint. One thing I'm worried about, though, is your rack of lamb is in the oven with 30 minutes left to go. I'm so pulling it, can... it out so it can rest, and okay. all the liquids can be distributed. OK, perfect. Thank Good you, luck. Chef. As far as my lamb, I'm feeling good. Gonna try to cook it very quickly because this type of lamb will burn if what you cook doing? it any more than a minute and a half. Right, Susie, no lamb, no peaches, and you're going for a vegetarian cauliflower spiced rice dish. It's a very big gamble. It is, Chef, yeah. I'm, I'm having so fun. I'm having fun in the kitchen. Vegetarian? Okay, just under 10 minutes to go. Are you cooking the rest of this, too? Yep, I'm gonna okay. cook the rest of that off Perfect. also, yep. Graham comes over to me and says, oh, you're going to use the full rack? And originally, I was just going to stick with my lollipop chops. They're really nicely seared. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try to throw it on there. I figured that I would have enough time to let it kind of cook itself through to a nice rare to medium rare. It was not my original game plan. You can't skip the lamb. Last two minutes. Now you should be having your meat resting or thinking about plating it. 45 seconds to go. Finishing touches. Let's keep it going, guys. We're only tasting the top three dishes. Make sure yours is in oh, those top three. Max is already rolling. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Woo! Well done. Chef Ramsey yells time, and I'm thinking, damn, I should have left that rack on my board. Ooh, what is that? Finishing touches. In the mystery box challenge, the judges will taste just three dishes. Ten, nine. The winner will receive a huge advantage going into the next round. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. I wonder what Arvin's been doing. Chef Ramsey yells time, and I made a haste decision. And now I wish I would not have plated that. We've been watching you all very closely. What else, then? And observing all those techniques, studying that level of creativity, and really seeing you take this challenge face on. I'm going to single out one dish that stood out. Jennifer. Max. Your dish definitely stood out. Unfortunately, for all the wrong reasons. Jennifer, this I have to make a point of, because this is not even about cooking, about technique. This is a complete disaster. This lamb is raw, is completely raw. That's dangerous. You can't. You take this thing and you cut it in half. It would be dangerous to serve a piece of lamb like this to a judge. This is raw, raw. Do you see this? Yeah. Raw. What, do, what are you I thinking? What are you thinking food. about trying to serve us raw food? We're here to judge this thing. We're watching you cook. We're not idiots. You know, if it were for me, this is not an elimination round. I would send you home now. This is a serious cooking competition. I mean, it's serious raw, prize. raw though. Don't come in here and waste our time because it will throw you out of this competition if you do something as stupid as to serve us raw, unsanitary food. Well, then she's already out.
I didn't trust my instinct and tried to plate a bigger plate than I really wanted to. I should have stuck with just the chops. And I don't like looking like a fool. And it sucks. OK. Three of the dishes that stood out for all the right reasons. The first dish belongs to... Alex. Alejandra. Okay. Right, describe the dish, please. OK, this is a curried rack of lamb. I have a cauliflower steak that I've roasted in the oven. I have made a chutney with the peach and the pomegranate molasses. And the rice, a um, cauliflower I've, I've made steak. a pilaf with the fava beans that I've blanched. Looks kind of dank. Just in salted water. So 60 minutes, one stunning dish. You've done that times four. Oh. Four individual tough techniques that even a professional chef would struggle to get done in 60 minutes. You've done it brilliantly. And that's the peach chutney? Yes, sir. It's delicious. Great job. Thank you so much. Oh, sir. wow, OK. This is one of those rare occasions that, like, you nailed it, you nailed it, you nailed it, you nailed it, you nailed it. Thank you Damn, so well much. Damn, well done. After Alejandro's chosen, I'm like, please call my name. I'm sending like little messages to Chef Ramsey, Chef Elliot, and Joe. Yeah. So the next dish that we want to try is a dish that I think would certainly win the award for being the most restaurant ready. Tracy, Tracy. And that dish belongs to Adrian. Why don't you come Adrian, down here and figure this out? Well done. Bye, Tracy. Tell me about the reduction, the pomegranate reduction. How did that come to you? I did like a dummy lamb chop with just the molasses, but it was pretty heavy. So I kind of put in the blood orange juice. Then once I sear them, I use that marinade and put it into the port reduction that I poached the peaches in. It's like fireworks on your palate. You have heat in the back. You have acidity in the front. What's the heat from, the chilies? Uh, the Thai chilies and Thai the chilies. Uh, creme fraiche with uh, walnut. Yeah, five, five head. I don't know what you said. I thought you were sort yeah. of disappearing in this competition. But it's remarkable. Absolutely delicious. Good job. I appreciate it. Well chef. done. Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. All right. Remarkable. The next dish out of the three that we're tasting, the contestant had some of the best, most beautiful plating skills that we've seen so far. Yeah, it's the guy with the, with the kids. Tracy. Fuck off. Come forward. All right, walk me through it. OK, so basically, I wanted um, not only the lamb to be the star, but also the feta. So I um, sliced up those blood oranges, kind of grilled them on the stove top so they were nice and caramelized. Mm -hmm. Also fried up the feta cheese so that it would have a crispy exterior. The walnuts and the feta alone look beautiful with the little blood orange. I mean, you set that aside, and that's you know like its own little vegetarian course or right, something. Right. It's really nice. So this lamb, you know, as we cut through, it should just be that beautiful pink, you know, almost sensuous color. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Right? Thank you, Chef. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. I really like that use of the creme okay. fraiche. Yummy. And the balancing of the sweetness with adding some of that salt and pepper that gives it some heat that's really needed. Thank you very much, Chef. Thank you. This is uh, a, a well thought out, intelligently constructed entree. I think that the uh, feta and lamb is one of the winning combinations. Delicious, Tracy. Thank Congratulations. You Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What about Christian and Alex? Three huh? amazing, remarkable dishes. Tracy and Alejandra are, are awesome, but I know my dish is spot on. We're definitely on a new level here. This is really kind of raising the bar. These dishes are complex, complete, mm -hmm. and intriguing. I finally made it to the front of the judges as one of the top three. Like, at this point, my strategy has to be keep going up. For us so far, in this contest, the toughest decision we've had to make. I don't want to be second place. I want to be number one. You know, I want to be the best. No. The winning dish today. Alejandro. Alejandro. On Alejandro. the mystery box uh, challenge. Alejandro. Congratulations goes to. Oh, what, what was winning? Alejandro. In the mystery box challenge, the top three dishes have been tasted by the judges. Adrian's farmer's market lamb, Alejandra's curried rack of lamb, no, and Tracy's sweet and salty oh. feta with lamb. For us so far, the toughest decision we've had to make. The winning dish today from the mystery box challenge. Congratulations goes to... 
Really good job. My <laughs> chef. My Excited? I don't, I don't, I don't know even, working. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, thank you. I won a mystery box challenge. I got their attention. I want to go celebrate. <laughs> it's completely a, a dream. It's a great dream. Are you ready to find out what your advantage is? Yeah. OK, this way. Let's go. Congratulations. As the winner of the mystery box, Adrian enters the Master Chef Pantry. Here, he will be put in control of the next challenge. In the elimination test, at least one person will leave the competition. And now, Adrian will be given a huge advantage as he gets to pick the ingredient everyone else must cook with. But the one thing he can't control the theme. is the theme of the challenge. As always, that is in the hands of the judges. The first bit of news is you could still be up for elimination today. Okay? Team the is theme Christmas. of today's elimination challenge is desserts. Oh. I'm freaking out just because I don't make any desserts at home. I never order dessert when I go out. But if I can come out strong on this, it's going to gain some real, real respect. So we're about to show you three amazing ingredients for dessert. But before that, let's talk about your two huge advantages. First of all, from these three ingredients, you get to choose the ingredient that you want to be the star across your dessert. And then you get to choose a different ingredient for your competitors. <laughs> be clever. Well, okay, so the first ingredient down. today is coffee. As a component oh, of desserts, that's, oh, it's dude. a game changer because inherent in coffee comes acidity, bitterness, things that you have to really consider when you create the that's most dank. sophisticated desserts. All right, ingredient number two. Some coffee cake and tiramisu, maybe? Some, some mocha? pineapple. It's both sweet and sour, right? There's these different acidic oh. notes that can really help set a dessert apart. Your third ingredient, nuts. So complicated to get right. Think very, very carefully. Remember, it is an elimination test. My advantage is kind of like a catch-22 because it doesn't matter what I pick. I could pick any three of those things and someone's going to hate me. So which ingredient are you choosing for you and for your competitors? These nuts. Wow. The theme for today's elimination test is desserts. I feel really confident doing desserts. As a chef, you need to know how to do pastries as well as culinary, and I think I can do both. Thank you, Susie. When I hear I'm cooking desserts, I'm pretty pissed off. I don't feel comfortable with them at all, and I'm a little worried, to tell you the truth. Adrian had a choice of three ingredients to pick from. Pineapple, coffee, or nuts. Adrian got to choose the main ingredient for his desserts. Damn. And he got to pick the ingredient he that the rest coffee, of you He chose coffee, they get cook. fucking pineapple. Wow. GG. So he chose for himself the most diverse ingredients. And they are... Nuts. I pick nuts. No shot he gave him is coffee. Is anyone who is a little bit jealous of Adrian's nuts? <laughs> Okay, that was, that was, it wasn't that funny. You are going to be using... Don't pick coffee. The most amazing... Not pineapple. Coffee. What? Come on, seriously? Yes. Coffee's something I love. It's something I know. Okay, that's... that's I want to run that, over that's, to Adrian that's and just throw. give him a big hug right now. That's a throw. Remember, we're going to be tasting all of your dishes today including Adrian's. And on the back of that, one of you yeah, will be going home. Yeah, you too strong, but it's pretty easy to... You've got five minutes in the pantry. Well, it's not easy. To get your ingredients. Then, 90 minutes to make the most exquisite dessert. Your time starts. figure it out. Now, off you go. Yeah, come what in. do you do with nuts, though? <laughs> <laughs> 
With coffee as their main ingredient, the contestants now have five minutes in the pantry to get everything they need to create a dessert that can keep them in the competition. Immediately, oh, I think of an espresso chocolate flourless cake. Part of the reason why I chose a flourless some chocolate cake is that there's minimal ingredients, so I could focus on some other flavors. We're making a coffee cheesecake. I bake a lot of dessert, but I just bake a lot of cookies. This isn't cookies. It's a lot more scientific. Oh, come on. Baking and pastry and desserts are all chemistry, and I really understand the science of food, so I'm hoping that carries me through today. This is you know, the back of my mind, I always Heisenberg. see myself at a minimum cooking in the finals, if not winning this whole competition. Just under 60 minutes left. Who do you think can bring it in the baking department? Who's shown us some baking skills thus far? Yeah. I think Tracy is a very clever but reserved individual. Technical she... cook. What about Alvin? You know, we've seen him take a molecular approach, which means he has some science background. Does he apply that to the sweet food now? Yeah, I mean, fingers crossed. Um, I thought it was a very smart move for Adrian to have chosen the nuts because and so much more diversity. But a lot riding on his shoulders now if he doesn't produce, and, you know, he's got his neck on the chopping block like everyone else. Yes. Maybe a pecan cake. What, what are you doing, Alvin? I gotta do a beignet and I'm trying to pull off coffee spheres to put in the beignet well, before So like a fried. liquid center, yeah, cafe liquid du center, mar, yeah, beignets, powdered sugar, uh, maybe a little coffee donut, dust on top. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Small Make donut. us dessert. It's not a chemistry experiment. You need to convert him. No? Max, what are you doing? You got all cream over your nose, buddy. Yeah, a little bit here as well. There you go. Excellent. Um, what are you making? What are you making? Uh, I'm making a layer cake with crepes oh. and a cream cheese and mascarpone coffee infusion. No shite at the end of one hour. Hi, Alejandra. A Hello, layer sir. cake? What are you making? Oh, it's my God. It's a black God. bottom coffee cream tart. Wow. What's this? Uh, that's like a whipped cream with uh, instant espresso. And uh, a little bit of sugar, that's, a little bit of That's instant coffee and whipped cream? Yeah. Well, where, where, did you, where, where, where did you learn that? My mother. <laughs> that My is, mother. like, so ghetto <laughs> delicious. It's <laughs> awesome. It's like, it's like hey. cool. Thank you so much. OK, guys, 30 minutes to go. What? So you're doing, like, a, almost like a short crust tart? I'm um, close on time, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to push for it. The pastry's still raw. Can I suggest you get them in the oven? Yes, chef. Yeah. Viking. Interesting. Oh, what is Viking design? We've got some weak desserts. We've got some strong desserts. The most important thing in this challenge is you don't want to be in the bottom three. No. I think Alvin and Christine are my potential sort of weakest desserts. OK, 10 minutes to go. They're coming out perfect. This dish is definitely uh, going to be a top competitor. I'm pulling my tart out of the oven, and it looks like soup. It's, it's just not even watery. coming together. Uh, so I have no clue what I'm going to do. I have leftover coffee filling that is still kind of liquidy, and I did make melted chocolate. Thank God. There's six minutes left, and I look over, and I'm realizing that I have all these eggs left, and I still have sugar. Be back. So I'm like, moose, 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 moose. I can make a moose in six minutes. Coffee moose. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. OK, five minutes to go. Is she going to empty it? Start finishing that amazing dessert. <sighs> I'm here for my son. I'm here for myself. And I'm not going home. Seconds. <sighs> Put those finishing touches. 60 seconds. Screw this. Screw that. Oh, where's the chocolate chip? 15 seconds to go. There's a chocolate chip. There's a raspberry. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Ooh. 5, 4, 3, 2, Oh, dude, somebody's just busting it. And stop. Well done, well done, well done. Good job. I literally just whipped this together. I'm thinking I'll do great or I'll go home. Uh, home. Let's start with it. All right, Adrian, let's do it. As the winner of the Mystery Box Challenge, Adrian got to choose his main ingredients as well as those of his competitors. Did he but deliver or not? he could still face elimination. It's a chocolate torte, and I have pistachio hazelnut inside. And also, I made a coulis of raspberry, strawberry, pomegranate, and amaretto. XQCL. Hey, okay. hey, what's really odd is 
Well, it seems like you chose chocolate as your ingredient. The nuts are just kind of a garnish on top. Oh, okay. What would you expect then? The sad news is you can't really identify what we've done different from the nuts on top to the nuts inside Wait. that mixture. There's a lot of nuts in there, though. So nothing. How many different nuts do you use? <laughs> All of them, sadly. Every kind. Is that like a normal thing you've seen before a cake with every nut known to humanity in it? No. So what are you thinking? I think you took an incredible advantage and squandered it. Okay. Christine, please come up. I make mousse in my house all the time, but I have never, ever made mousse in six minutes. I was trying to make a, like a creamy uh, coffee tart, but I didn't have enough. I didn't calculate my time well enough. Thanks. The actual mousse tastes nice. For me, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And on the back of a disaster with the tarts, I think you've done a pretty good job to bring that back, to be honest. <laughs> I think you should wait till five minutes to go in every challenge now, because I think we'll see who's strongest. <laughs> OK. I mean, I feel pretty awesome that they recognize the fact that I didn't give up. That's not the show's Max, about, though. Max, let's go. When I present my dish, I'm, I'm really proud. I like the presentation, and I think the judges are going to find What is that? Is that a bite? What in the hell is what that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's about 15 crepes. 15 crepes? Stacked together. 15 crepes in there? About, about that much. OK, in between the 15 crepes, what is it? Uh, it's a mixture of cream cheese, mascarpone, some espresso, a little cream, some sugar. Guys. The theme of, th of this was coffee. What was the coffee in her in her fucking dish? Damn. It's tank. It... You have to do this with me. You have to taste that. It's like I've just gone to the doctors for a skin graft on my butt. Yeah. And mm -hmm. stuck it in caramel. Yeah. That is a it horrible, is a weird <laughs> texture. Oh. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. rancid. <laughs> that good, huh? Wow. <laughs> you know, the fact that it's an elimination test, it's serious. There's no sweetness. I don't get a lot of coffee flavor at all. I don't get much of anything aside from the weird texture. I would be worried, actually, with what you made here. Alejandro, please come down and join us. Now, this is not what I expected. I thought those ingredients were going to be, like, somehow cooked. This is everything I tasted, I think, raw. What happened? Oh. I am inexperienced with desserts. I didn't give it the proper time to cool in the refrigerator before serving it. Um, I'm sorry, this is a poorly executed dish. I, I, I'm aware. It's almost as if you stopped halfway through and assembled the dish and presented it. A little strange. A little strange, all right. I cannot believe, from what you've done in this competition, that you would come up with something as bad as that. <laughs> it's a mess, and it's a great shame. Yeah, cry it up, dude. Damn. So bad. It's so hard. It's so hard for me to hear how disappointed he is. I'm so disappointed by this dish already, and I'm just, like, crushed. I think this is the challenge that is going to send me home. Jenny Kelly, will you join Thank us you. up here? Hi there. Hi. Yeah. What is it? What is that? It is a tart. I infused the tart with coffee. Is it supposed to look like that? What is that? It's not cooked all the way through. I put it in too late. So it's raw? It's not. The, it, it, um, I don't think it's totally raw, but it's the top is edible. Well, the, the opposite of being cooked is raw, right? So it's sure. raw. Okay. I'm 
mean, it. Ah, excuse me. Oh, okay, it's an embarrassment. Ben. It's I, an embarrassment I, for you, and it's an embarrassment for this competition. Ninety minutes, Jenny. Ninety minutes. I apologize that you guys are even trying it. If you had any sense, you'd stage a trip up and smash the plate on the way up here, because that is hideous. You should come with a health warning sign. I just expect a little bit more, especially at this stage of the competition. Tough. I'm really sorry. Tough. At this stage of the challenge, when there's only this many of you left, this is just unacceptable. Just show me all this of it. This cannot fly, and it has to end here at this challenge. Putting up food that's not cooked, that's ill-conceived, is dangerous. That is reckless. I'm, I'm pissed off. We give you every tool that's possible to make you guys shine. And me, do we well, want to shine? I swear to God, or like that hits the plate, I feel like giving up. I feel like giving up. Like giving up. Three times now, said that. I just expect a little bit more, especially at this stage of the competition. I'm really sorry. When there's only this many of you left, this is just unacceptable. It has to end here at this challenge. Tracy, will you come uh, join us? Already? After the most disappointing day ever in the Master Chef kitchen. Can Tracy put everything back on track? All right, what do we got? It is an espresso chocolate flourless cake. It's covered with a caramel sauce and a very, very light dusting of coffee beans with a little bitter chocolate. Promising. So oh, that, that's a lot. Wow, this is amazing. Hey! You've combined the sort of toffee and the caramelized toffee with the coffee, and it really works. That dessert is the kind of dessert I'd love to see on my menu in my restaurant in London, because it's got that wow factor. Delicious. Well done. OK. OK, Esther, let's go. After Tracy's dessert changed the mood in the kitchen, can the remaining home cooks keep it that way? What is that, please? It's a warm coffee cheesecake. A coffee cheesecake, right. okay. Okay. Here's the thing. It actually tastes delicious. It's got that wow factor. It doesn't give you instant impression that it's gonna bounce off the palate visually, but the creamy texture of the tart is immaculate. Yeah. That is delicious. Great job. Then. Okay, Susie, come on up. I've got a chocolate coffee brownie um, chocolate hand rolled truffles. It's fucking raw lamb sauce. Mix of cocoa powder and mm -hmm. ground espresso. Mm -hmm. It's like you get the, the chocolate, the sweet, the bitter, all those kind of things. It's super rich and decadent. Good job. Jennifer, what do you have? I have coffee creme brulee with a little bit of white chocolate in there. And then I did a little bit of macerated um, raspberries over the top to cut that richness of the cream. definitely has a pronounced flavor of both coffee and white chocolate. And in fact, the berries do a nice job of bringing wow, it up. Wow, right. Wow, quite wow, light wow, 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 and, quite frankly, pretty good. Thank you. Alvin. The final contestant in the elimination challenge is Alvin. Alvin is amazing. He's so intelligent. He knows so much about food. I really think Alvin's going to be in the top five. Inside the beignet is, um, Coffee with chicory brewed pretty strong, mixed with uh, sodium alginate, and that's uh, set to cool, and that's dropped into a calcium chloride bath, which sets a gel around the sauce. Mm. What is that? It's the coffee sauce, Jeff. It's extraordinarily bitter. There is like a coffee blood clot. I think uh, the resting time may have set more of the alginate base than I would have liked. It's not because it's been sitting. It's, it's, 
the fact that it was wrong before it even got put in there. At my restaurant, we use some of these techniques, you know? But we never go around and try to trumpet that we're using it because it works and it speaks for itself. But things like this give what I personally do day in and day out a bad name. Whether it's got a cool ingredient or a technique or not, that's just bad food. It's weird. Disgusting. Damn. You've never said that before. With all the dishes tasted, the judges must decide the bottom three, one of which will be eliminated. Well, First, the they'll reveal... Why, is it plotting? With all the dishes tasted, the judges must decide the bottom three, one of which will be eliminated. First, Why? Be... The resting time... ...even got put in. Go around, butt name. Whether it's got a cool ingredient or a technique it. or not, that's just bad food. Oh, yeah, 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 see it. Guy, he's plotting, it is what it is. First, they'll reveal today's top two dishes. Okay, across that tasting, we had some highs and lows. But there were some real highs. The top two will become team captains ahead of our next challenge. Good luck. That first dish belongs to... Esther. Esther. Thank you. Did he call my name? <laughs> Did he just say Esther? Serious? What? Good job. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'll take a win. I'll take a win. The second dish that was uh, done to perfection. That dish belongs to Tracy. Congratulations. Tracy is definitely not going home today. Not today, people. Congratulations, Esther. Tracy, congratulations. Good job. This is a elimination test. With that comes a departure. And we're gonna single out Alvin. the three dishes that we strongly believe deserve to be in the bottom. And at least one of you will be leaving Master Chef. The first dish that wasn't up to par Alvin. belongs to Jenny. Step forward, please. At this stage in the competition, when there's elimination up, trust me, you wanna cook your ass off. Today, you didn't do that. The second dish was almost to the point of being offensive. Max. That dish belongs to Alvin. Knowing when to use restraint, when to come back inside the box, important stuff. The chef. The third dish was okay, Max, poor in its conceptualization and really rancid in its flavor. Uh -huh. And that dish belongs to... We're not smacked. In tonight's elimination challenge, the judges have already... One home cook will be leaving the comps. Poor in its conceptualization and really rancid in its flavor. Max, why don't you come up and take your spot? You succeeded hey, in you. creating one of the most disgusting things that perhaps I've ever tasted. This is a elimination test. With that comes a departure. Okay. Jenny, step forward. Home, 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 home. You had one of the worst dishes of the day. But there were two dishes worse than yours back in line. Yeah, lucky. So lucky. Alvin and Max, based on this elimination test, the worst dish of the day, and that person will be leaving MasterChef. No. 
Not Max. All the, it's all the right. inner voice in my head is just saying, please, please, please let it be Max. Let me stay and prove to you guys what I can do. Alvin, are you gone? Alvin is asking 100% to be eliminated. Even though my dessert was flawed, at least it was a true dish without chemicals and chemistry and wizardry. That dish belongs to... Alvin. 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 Yes! Fuck yes! Oh, dude, so Please close. Please take your apron off. Your time is done in MasterChef. I think you're courageous, but you must understand the basics before you become adventurous. Get that right, and you can be an exciting cook. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, I like okay. cakes, Thank you. Guys, I wanted to lose you know, in a better scenario. Called, um, it sucked. Um, it's sort of Guys, instant snap back to reality that... Max's character is made to lose, but he can lose in a better way. The the dream of being the next Master Chef has ended, but it's been an unbelievable experience and uh, it's something that I'll take with me forever. So I thank them for the opportunity and walk back to my station, take my apron off. I ran Sasha. Everyone in that room was devastated when Alvin got sent home. Completely out of left field. You? Back on your station. Thank you, Chef. Lucky today, Max. I think that Alvin has more talent in his pinky than Max has, like, that he'll have in his entire life. There's only 14 of you left. Why are you all looking so miserable? <laughs> Christy, why are you crying? I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm just happy to be here, man. She's drunk oh, again. I want it, man. Game on. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause, for God's sake. <laughs> OK, get some rest, because you're going to need it. Miss well done. Next time on MasterChef... Welcome to Point Magoo. ...the home cooks find themselves in the great outdoors... Here come the bikers! ...and face no, no, off no, in a no, team... No, 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 spoiler, man.